today we will discuss about one topic which is related to tolerance field so uh, today we will discuss about invoice tolerance field so what are invoice tolerance field so before that i'll just take you on the screen where we maintain the invoice tolerance field and uh, i'll i'll share some views about what exactly the tolerance fields are okay so uh, the key code to get to the uh, tolerance fields of a uh, uh, ir or invoice is omr6 okay so here in the omr6 key code we will maintain tolerance fields for all the fields which is which are there in the sap okay so let us check what all tolerance fields we have so here you can see there are many tolerance fields uh, first is an okay so what is an an is amount for item without alteration it means that if whenever we provide this type of tolerance field if i open it so here you can see there is only upper limit is present okay so what is signifies is uh, whenever we are going to uh, click on check limit and provide some amount like 100 okay so for company code triple zero one uh, amount is in euro and we will provide 100 euros as a limit okay if i save it so once i save it so whenever i am going to uh, do the ir or invoice verification for company code this so uh, the system will always check that my amount should not increase above 10 hundred euro okay like uh, um, if suppose and this this tolerance fee is specifically for um, uh, not for the po references the ir uh, created from po references it is from the gl directly putting uh, invoice uh, verification in gl or material okay so it is not dependent on the po okay so there here you can see that it is written that amount for item without order reference means there is no requirement of PO in the invoice verification. So at that moment, this tolerance field is used. Okay. So now we come to our next tolerance field. Our next tolerance field is amount for item with order reference. Similarly, the name signifies means the description signifies that in this tolerance field there is no order reference. In this reference key there is an order reference. So here, um, how the system checks is, if we put here check limit and provide suppose 200, okay, 200 euros. So whenever we are creating a PO, uh, which is uh, above 200 uh, val value, okay, and we are doing IR for that uh, amount, then system will provide some warning message that it is above the amount that you have mentioned ap apart from this all uh, and it will check all the line items means it, it is a line item wise tolerance key limit okay okay so further uh, there is one more tolerance key that is vd vd is for form small difference automatically it means that whenever we are creating a po and uh, whenever we are doing some ir invoice verification for that so for particular limit if we click on this we have only one limit that is upper limit so uh, if my po suppose for an example po has an amount of 100 euro and at the time of ir my amount will go to 102 okay because of some uh, revised payments or invoice okay so the system will put this two uh, balance to a price difference account okay automatically and it will it, it will not provide any warning message okay if my suppose my PO amount is 100 and uh, at the time of IR the PO uh, the uh, uh, the amount will increase up to 105 suppose euro so it is the difference is 5 euros okay so at that moment of time the system will provide you warning message and after the IR posting it will go for a payment loss okay so this is the significance of BD 
now br and bw are the two tolerances which is uh, important in that case where uh, the order unit uh, order per price unit and order unit are different suppose in the material master you have provided uh, one p uh, one bag is equal to 12 pieces okay so at that moment of time these tolerances are used okay now what is dq dq is the quantity variance whenever there is a variation of quantity in the po and the ir uh, it will provide a warning also at the time of ir okay so dw uh, dw is again there uh, if there is no gr based invoice verification is present in your company uh, means it is not configured then at the time of uh, po after after creating po there is an ir so at the time of ir the ir will the system will check whether the quantity of po and ir is matching or not okay now what is kw kw is for the condition value condition value means if there is a freight charges which is incurred in your organization then it will definitely check with the freight charges the variation of freight charges at the time of po and at, at the time of ir okay so today i am just giving you a brief overview i'm not going into details because this can make uh, this video more lengthy so i'm just giving you a brief introduction of what exactly the tolerance fees are okay so now uh, if we go to pp this is very important it means each and every company must have this pp variance because this variance is very prominent because at the time of po uh, creation at the time of ir there must be some differences in the value okay so accordingly uh, if we go further into it, it we can see that uh, this is maintained for both the absolute values and percentage okay now we have lower limit upper limit percentage lower limit upper limit okay so here uh, basically what happens uh, whenever there is a po created okay so there is some price like 100 rupees uh, suppose 100 rupees po created okay at the time of ir uh, if there is a variation and the system will check according to this limit okay this limit so uh, this is for the lower and this is for the upper okay so basically in upper limit whenever there is 100 rupees 100 euro po and we create an ir which is more than uh, means 106 or uh, 105 or more than 106 so the system will definitely give you a warning message that at the time of ir your price is different okay there is a variation of price at the time of po and at the time of ir so this is very important pp variance now if we go for ps so what is ps so here you can see it is exactly same uh, the working principle is same as price variance but there is a difference of estimated price so in the po if you mark your net price as an estimated price then it will work accordingly okay there is much there is no not much variance uh, means difference between price variance and price variance estimated price okay so only difference is if you mark your uh, price at the time of po net price as estimated price then it will work uh, this tolerance key will be uh, checked okay at the time of ir now if we go for st st is the prior date variance uh, it means that if there is a delivery date which is uh, there in the po and at the time of ir there is a variation of uh, means posting date okay so accordingly this uh, tolerance key will stop or uh, warn us whenever we do a invoice verification okay now vp vp is moving average price moving average price as we all know that whenever there is a material created so it has uh, means whenever we procure a material so we have a price and once we uh, procure that material again so according to their average price we will take as moving average price okay so uh, accordingly it will check uh, this about this tolerance in the moving average price at the time of hire okay so so these are the most prominently used uh, tolerance keys and these are very important so in sap mostly in every company these tolerance keys one of the important tolerance keys are pp and vp if there is a, a stock material okay so these are very important and uh, it uh, we can use and dq as well 
so this is the for the quantity variance so these two three uh, tolerance keys are very important and is uh, that they, they are used in every company but according to your scenario according to your business process you can incorporate any other tolerance keys as well so hope this is just an overview of a tolerance keys and uh, i have not covered anything means like example and all uh, for but for this uh, i can create another video in which i can uh, provide you detail analysis of each tolerance keys so thank you very much for today and have a nice day